What is going on everybody? Today it is raining in Florida and I'm going to work on my truck a little bit a little bit later and also put new trailer tires on the trailer. But I'm not going to film any of that and uh, I'm just going to talk for a minute. A few things totally off topic uh, of drifting cars or BMX but uh, have you all seen Jamie Foy's new Spitfire part? Just wondering. Jamie Foy is a fucking thug. And uh, his new Spitfire part is sick. Oh yeah, it's on Thrasher, by the way. If you want to see it, it's sick. Moving on from that, though. Uh, YouTube is doing some crazy shit always. They're always trying to do something to make it harder for you guys to find videos from your favorite creators. Not just me, but everybody. And uh, I've seen a lot of people say lately, more than, not, more than usual, that they didn't get a notification or YouTube unsubscribed them from me. And... Uh, one of the things that you might notice if you go to the little notification bell, there's three options now. And one of them is no notifications. One of them is uh, along the lines of sometimes notify you and the other is all the time. So you might be somewhere in the middle there and not all the way notified. So um, I'll, also on top of that, I've been uploading a little bit less frequently because we were on the road for two weeks and didn't have Wi-Fi. Uh, so I guess some people have to kind of come back and find everything. But if you missed the video from yesterday, here's a little bit of that. That was a good time. All the guys from Jacksonville that came down and hung out. Um, Micah Diaz was here. That was really cool. When we were at VIR, we pulled the case off of my gearbox, if you watched that video, and we noticed that fourth gear had a little bit of wear on it, so it needed to be replaced. And Micah is sponsored by G-Force, and G-Force has said that they have an extra gear laying around they're gonna send over here. So after the next event, I'm gonna pull the gearbox out and swap that gear. So that'll be kind of cool to show you guys um, you know, pulling the GSR apart, swapping out that gear, putting it back together. It's a pretty simple task in terms of pulling a gearbox apart and changing a gear. It's a lot simpler than a, a traditional gearbox. In the last couple of videos, I've mentioned that maybe I would be doing a class uh, kind of helping you guys build a social media platform and kind of become an influencer for real. And uh, I've, hit, I've just hinted at it and was like, hey, would you guys be into this? Blah, blah, blah. Some people said yes. Uh, no one said no, which is cool. The first one that I do will definitely be in the Orlando area, but I kind of just wanted to go over a few of the things that I'd be touching on in that class to kind of see if you guys would be more interested. Um, so you guys will get a full introduction on kind of how I started doing this uh, more in depth and why I do it. And I think that that might help give you guys a little bit of motivation. Um, other things that will be figuring out your platform, whether you want to grow your Instagram account and get a lot more engagement on it, get more people involved and following you, or if it's YouTube, which YouTube can lead to making money and monetization of content. Um, and uh, a lot of people talk about how they don't have enough time to create this content and do it consistently. And part of the class will teach you guys about managing your time uh, when trying to create consistent content. Um, it'll also go over different editing and content styles. You have people like me that it's more cut and dry, very raw. And uh, that's how I manage my time, having a pregnant girlfriend and, and other responsibilities. And then you have the kind of content that's a lot, uh, a lot more thought out and a lot more time put into it, like Hoonigan. Hoonigan's content's probably one of my favorites to watch, and uh, I I think that contributes to their um, their in-depth editing and and you know it's cool, it's fun to watch. It's not you don't even have to like really care about the dudes that are involved in the content. The content's just cool by itself, where if you come here 
and you're like, well, I don't really like Caleb, then it's the content's probably not that cool for you. Um, but everybody loves the guys at Hoonigan, and I didn't mean that in a bad way. Uh, and then with that being said, you have the in-depth, high-end production quality content, and then you have the raw quality content. So a good way to figure out which way you want to go is what does your daily uh, timeline allow? Do you have a lot of spare time to go in depth and learn how to edit very well? Or are you on a tight schedule and you've got an hour to edit a video a day? So we're going to talk about all that. And I had something that when I got into this, I wish that there was something like this around because I think that it, it'll give you a little bit of an advantage when going into creating content because most people, most creators, uh, most of the guys that you watch all went into this blind and had to figure it out for themselves. And I think that a lot of them probably would rather it be that way because they don't want this this area uh, of being an influencer in automotive or BMX, whatever, to get oversaturated. But I think that there's plenty of space for lots of you guys to come in and, and build platforms. So I don't know. I've just been trying to think of ways to kind of give back to the people that watch my shit and comment and want to do the same kind of stuff that I do or already do but just aren't really seeing the growth, this is my way to get back. I was hoping that it would stop raining completely so I could show you guys Tyler's new project. He's in the Bahamas right now, but we picked up an S14 um, that we're gonna kind of throw together for him with some of my extra stuff and he's gonna pick up some stuff Unfortunately, we have a bear problem out here, and before I show you more of the car, the trash cans are usually over here. I don't know if you can see, but those are teeth marks right there, and they scratch the shit. This is already dented, but they scratch the shit out of it. So it's some aftermarket taillights. My friend Emerson used to have these taillights. I really like them. So it's got a sunroof, five lug. Inside's pretty clean. It's got full interior. I think Tyler's trying to get rid of all the interior. So if there's any S14 guys out there that live like close to Orlando area that needs something. I mean, he's going to keep the dash, but like S14 seats, center console, rear seats, carpets, headliner. I think he's going to sell all that. And then, oh, empty engine bay. It had a uh, RB in it, but the frame rails are clean. The rear is clean. There's just that little ding in the door, which we're going to get him a new door. So, uh, yeah, I'm stoked for him. I want to help him out since he helps me out so much. And uh, try and get this thing done. I think we're going to order a set of Koenig wheels this week for it. Because right now it only has three wheels. These weds are the previous owners. He's got to come pick them up. So we're going to order some wheels for it. Some coilover, some ISR arms. Similar to the stuff that's on my car. Probably not quite as... Uh, gnarly, but you know get an engine in there drivetrain and be cool to go drifting with Tyler Here's s 14. She's looking nice and dirty Check this out from our scrubbing and racing Got some marks on the old bash bar here might have thrown the alignment off a little bit, but it's all good That's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, I hope that me explaining explaining a little bit more about what I'm trying to do with this class gets you guys more stoked to be maybe be a part of it especially if you live in the area if it goes well and it gets uh you know if it has good results and maybe I'll kind of go around maybe do one on the west coast the northwest east coast and do them more often it's something that I've been wanting to do and Chelsea Denofa's kind of kind of uh taken over the drift class stuff and maybe do a collab with him and we actually talked about it a little bit, so that might actually happen. Maybe during the first one. Who knows? The, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention uh, about the, the class is sponsorship stuff. So many dudes hit me up and want to know how to get sponsored. So not only am I going to give you guys some in, insight with my experiences in, in reaching out to sponsors, but also uh, one of my goals is to get Scott from Koenig down to one of the classes to talk about what he looks for as a uh, brand manager or someone that deals with sponsorships and proposals and that type of thing. So you'll get a, you know, get it straight from the source instead of just me. Maybe me and him will go back and forth on, you know, 
the way I see it and the way he sees it, and then you guys will get to uh, take all that info and implement it into your programs to get your own sponsorships. So that's gonna do it, and uh, thanks for watching, and there's been a lot of positivity lately on the videos, and I really, really, really appreciate that. My memory card ran out of space, but uh, I mailed out another 400 uh, stickers, so I'm almost through all of them. If you guys were wondering, um, I've talked about it pretty much in every video, but the sticker company took an extra month and a half to get me the stickers that I purchased. So then it took me longer to get them to you guys. So I apologize about that. Uh, we were almost through them. So post them on Instagram, tag me uh, when you do receive yours. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully tomorrow if I have something to film. Peace.